What's up everyone, Mr. CIS here, and uh, I thought I'd do a little walk around of my truck I just recently bought. It's winter out here in Canada right now, as you can see, but um, yeah, it's the snow's almost melting, but yeah, it's a 94 Ford Ranger, there's four, there's the Ranger. I have the badge for the other side on this panel here, but it uh, broke one of the tabs here, and so I just took it off so someone wouldn't try and steal it. But yeah, she's in pretty good shape. She's in mint. Everything. She's a five-speed manual, rear-wheel drive. I can't really do a good show of her right here because she's in uh, kind of a tight spot. But yeah, she's she's, she's gonna need some uh, body work. But that's the same with like all trucks, usually. But right there on the bumper, I need a new bumper for the back. As you can see, probably a new tail light. It has all new brakes all around. Um, new brakes all around. New front flexos is both sides. Um, your axle seals has new diff. We flushed out the diff, all that. Um, what else? Um, we cleaned out all the sensors, so all the idle control valves, all the throttle bodies, air intake, new air filter. We cleaned the injectors. Um, when I first got this, it wasn't running the greatest, but it was still running, it, like no check engine light or anything. It was misfiring pretty bad. We ended up figuring out that um, it was one of the injectors, it was no good, and it wasn't firing at all, because we took off electrical harness off of that injector, and it didn't even change the engine how it was running at all. And dogs holding the wakes. Say hello. The frame's all solid. It is a bit rusty. It is um, it is old. It is a '94, but like, yeah. There's no cracks anywhere, so that's good. I wouldn't have bought it if there was cracks. If you're wondering what these rims are, these are off a uh, like a Grand Marquis. I think it was like a '90 something uh, Mercury Grand Marquis. These are uh, 15s or 16s, I think they are. But yeah, got those on all sides. They look pretty, pretty sweet because they look like aftermarket Enkies or something like that. But yeah, I like them a lot. Oh, and it also has like a little uh, truck box in the back. But I'm probably just gonna remove it so I can have all the bikes in the back. But yeah, just spare parts like calipers and rotors and all that garbage. It is lockable, but like you know, it's wood and it's rotten, so there's not really any point. Let's show you the interior. It's pretty clean. The guy I bought it off, he used it as an off-road truck, so the inside isn't the cleanest. But in the spring, I can always just uh, take out all the seats and vacuum it all out. Five-speed annual, as you can see right there. Yeah, I have my winter tires. I have extra belts and stuff back there. Um, let me just move these tools. I'm taking the battery out after this so the battery doesn't go flat over the winter. But these seats, I don't know if I can do this without fucking it all up. So that go full down like that. And there you can see extra space. And with these tires out, you can see right there, that's a fold down seat. And so you can have two other people back there. So for now, really, it's just a two seater. And that goes fold back on both sides. And uh, you got a bench seat here. I don't know why you'd want that. You don't really want to have a chick here because you don't want to be shifting in the guy's nut. <laughs> um, but yeah, and this is just like a fold down uh, thing. And you, these usually break, and so I just bought and recorded it so it doesn't keep flying out. This is uh, all manual stuff since it's uh, not very fancy. I don't think there's AC, but it has heat. Um, but crank windows both sides. I got aftermarket stereo. That's from the previous owner. Here's the dash. It's got a good amount of miles on it, 295,000 kilometers on it. So yeah, it's it's been doing some work. And uh, glove compartment, just some extra aux cord and stuff like that. We could almost uh, freaking try that out right now if we want. These are just my uh, Mercury hubcaps. I've, I'm missing one, so I just want them all to be the same. Dogs are outside, just chilling like bosses. Let me show you the hood of it real quick. Uh, where the hell's the lever out? Show you the engine compartment. Yes, 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 it's 
the whole side. Eh? Uh, there we go. But yeah, she's fairly clean. I put mothballs on in here so the mice don't get at her. And there is a mess of all the wires in there, but that was from the previous owner. He tried to put subwoofers and stuff. It has all the like fuses and everything. I just gotta put that in the back. I have the connections and everything to put big ass bass in there. But yeah, you know, we cleaned out all the sensors. We engine degreased her. She was pretty bad when I first got her. She's stock for the most part. Um, she does have 5 liter injectors from a uh, V8 Crown Vic or a um, 5 liter Mustang. Those are the only really upgrades I have in her. And <clears throat> she has stock exhaust, everything like that. Um, three, 3 liter V6 with 5 liter V8 injectors. So yeah, she, she pretty, she hauls, but you know, I gotta take it easy. She is an old engine. Let's see how, how she sounds like. I'll start her up for you real quick. Oh, there she goes. There she is. Let her warm up for a minute. Let's let the heat run. She's cold, so you know I don't want to get her going too fast. She has stock exhaust, like I said, so you know, she's not the nicest sounding, but you know, she's alright. I'm thinking of maybe just gutting out the, the catalytic converters after I get her e-tested and everything in the spring. I hope you enjoyed this. Just a little walk around on my truck real quick. Um, but yeah. Sorry that I couldn't put out any videos. I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna go out on Azure today um, with my new GoPro setup and just um, try and do some wheelies. It is a bit icy still, but um, should be doable. Um, but thanks for watching, everyone. Hit that like button if you liked it. And uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.